2019, St. Joseph Center introduced its Direct Support Professional of the Year program. This is an opportunity for us each year to single out individuals who work as direct support professionals in four different departments in order to raise up and to recognize the important work that they do. Uh, we're very proud this year to announce and congratulate the following individuals on achieving Direct Support Professional of the Year for 2021. From the Adult Day Services, Lisa Garrick. From the Community Living Arrangements, Dave Misharish. From Community Support Services, Mark Maloney. And from the Intermediate Care Facility, Teresa Egan. Congratulations to each of them. In this program, you'll hear a little bit more about the Direct Support Professional of the Year program, and the department director from each of the four areas will introduce the award winner so that you get a chance to know a little bit more about them. Hi, I'm Timothy McGrain, the Director of Human Resources at St. Joseph Center. I'm here to talk to you about the DSP of the Year Awards. The Care and Support Friday at St. Joseph Center is inspired by the teachings of Jesus, emphasizing the worthiness of each person to be uniquely loved by God. The DSP of the Year Awards honor outstanding DSPs who have embodied these teachings and lived our values of care, concern, compassion, and commitment. These awards provide St. Joe's Center with a great opportunity to highlight a few of these dedicated, innovative DSPs that are the heart and soul of the supports and services provided to individuals with disabilities. In 1996, JFK Jr. wrote, quality is defined at the point of interaction. Our DSPs are those professionals at that point of interaction who are doing the day-to-day -day work needed to help individuals with disabilities live, learn, work, and play in their communities. The development and retention of these competent professional BSPs is critical to providing that quality interaction. Recognition, appreciation, and support are essential components of that employee development and engagement. These annual awards show how St. Joseph Center appreciates and recognizes DSPs for their work and at the same time allows us to continue to bring attention and raise awareness to the, of the devotion, professionalism, and quality supports provided by DSPs in their daily work. Thanking DSPs both publicly and privately demonstrates to all that DSP work is vital to the individuals, our organization, and the community at large. Thanks, Tim. I appreciate that you overviewed the DSP of the Year program uh, to explain to others why it's so important to our work here at St. Joseph Center. And now we've called upon department directors to introduce each of the award winners from their area. And they'll tell you a little bit more about the DSP of the Year. Hi, my name is Jennifer Mackey. I'm the Director of Adult Day Services at St. Joseph Center, and I'm here to announce our Direct Support Professional of the Year, Lisa Garrick. Amazing, like your child's first steps, Lisa says with tremendous energy as she recalls seeing a resident progress. I remember her rolling, then scooting, then walking, and eventually running. There are so many of these moments I have seen throughout the years, she says. Lisa has been at St. Joseph's for over 21 years and is connected to everyone here because of her older sister having a developmental disability. So many can recall when we were able to visit the many smiling faces as she entered Adult Day Services on Blakely Street and smelled the delicious chocolate chip cookies being baked down the hall. Lisa is in charge of cooking groups and works with clients to make delicious treats for everyone at the ADS to enjoy. Lisa helps individuals, individuals bake various treats to bring to the local fire departments as a way of thanking them for their service and also as a way of fostering friendships. In these cooking groups, she helps clients work on skill building of pouring, measuring, and mixing. Prior to the pandemic, she would take an individual to the store once a week and assist them in shopping for groceries, often giving clients choices of what to make and buy. While at Blakely Street, everyone looked forward to a party on the patio every Friday under the pavilion with music and lots of delicious treats all made by Lisa and the clients. Lisa knows the majority of the individuals at both the Adult Day Services and the Intermediate Care Facility, and this personal knowledge of the individuals has helped her support many of them 
as their medical status and physical capabilities have changed. She adapts activities to include individuals in various ways as their level of independent involvement changes. Before the pandemic, Lisa often accompanied individuals into the community to stores, recreation centers, tourist attractions, and various volunteer opportunities, always helping individuals participate in the activity and making it fun for all. Lisa enjoys baking and crafts both at work and at home. She was born in Scranton, raised in Old Forge, and currently lives in Jessup. Her education includes Old Forge High School and Allied Technical Careers, Fortis. She has a son, Thomas, who lives in the area. Her colleagues add, Lisa has filled many roles while here at St. Joe's, including unit manager. She always enjoys the individual's safety and well-being. She's a hard worker who puts the individual's needs first and teaches newer staff the importance of respecting the individual's choices and ensuring the individual's dignity is always preserved. She offers healthy choices to the individuals in cooking groups and always advocates for the individuals. She makes everyone feel welcome and included. Lisa has been a true asset here at the day program and at St. Joe's, and we are very grateful for her. And we want to say congratulations to Lisa Garrick for DSP of the year. I'm Linda Riley, and I'm introducing David Masarish, who is the DSP of the year for the CLA program. There's a difference between doing a job and doing a job you love, says David Masarish. And you can hear the excitement and dedication in his voice when he talks about the individuals he serves. David worked as a chef at several well-known area restaurants when a friend introduced him to the St. Joe's community 22 years ago, and he's been providing extraordinary care ever since. David was the first male hired as a house manager and activity aide. When David began at St. Joseph's, he served as a live-in house manager at the home in Dalton. He currently works third shift in the Dalton CLA. He and the individuals there enjoy movie nights, special dinners, including roasted turkey with all the trimmings at Christmas, making their own hot chocolate, and special breakfasts as they all get ready to start their day. David has so many stories to tell, like taking one of the guys to a car show in Carlisle and finding out how much that individual enjoys cars also. A co-worker commented, kind and sincere are two words to describe David. They added, David always has a smile and a kind gesture towards the guys. For instance, one individual's family always picked him up on holidays to celebrate and he would come home in such a great mood. But as time went on, his family visited once or twice a year and he was crushed. David offered to take him home for Easter and he was overjoyed. His mood was amazing that day and it put some heart in his co-workers too. David was born and raised in Scranton and received his education at Scranton Tech in Johnson College. He enjoys fishing and antique car shows, especially ones featuring Corvettes. David has a sister and brother-in-law who reside in Kansas and a niece and nephew in Florida all whom he cannot wait to see again when it's safe to travel. David, because of his culinary expertise, makes sure everyone has their favorite snacks, drinks, baked goods, and specialty meals, ensuring everyone in his care is happy and healthy. As a colleague sums it up, in David, you can see a dedicated and hard worker, a supporter and friend, a figure to look up to, one of the best I have seen during my time here. Congratulations, David, from everybody in the CLA program. Hi, my name is Rich Kane. I'm the Director of Community Support Services for St. Joseph Center. I'd like to introduce our Direct Support Professional of the Year, Mark Maloney. Each person in their own way is so special. This keeps me going and I look forward to going work to work. I owe it all to Christine, my wife, who got me involved with this awesome job, says Mark. Mark exhibits a spirit of giving, constantly donating his time to ensure that the people he supports are happy and healthy, says a colleague. Over the past two years, a certain client has been blessed by Mark, who has used his maintenance skills to ensure that he and his sister are able to continue living in their home. 
Mark helped create lists of what needs updating and contacted contractors for larger projects. Together, they have installed new gutters, painted the kitchen, replaced the bathroom and kitchen floors, fixed the toilet, spread modified gravel on the driveway, installed new light fixtures, and built a ramp to make it safer to walk into and out of their house. The client loves learning about home improvement and helping Mark with various problems projects. They planted a garden in the backyard so they have access to fresh fruit and vegetables throughout the growing season. They both spend time getting fresh air and exercise while tending their garden. They now live in a safer updated house that serves their needs. Mark has greatly broadened the horizons of the individuals he supports by going the extra mile to find out all the things that they like. For example, Mark found out that one client loves boy bands. So when a big name boy band was coming to Kingston, he worked to free his schedule and procure tickets and took this gentleman to the concert. Additionally, Mark found local train shops for a client who loves to expand his toy train collection. For one particular client who has a limited number of friends, Mark brings him home to enjoy family time with Mark's family thereby giving him a home experience that he does not get on a regular basis. He even sought out fishing spots for a client who needs to lose weight and likes to fish. Mark takes the time to help his clients engage with other fishermen to broaden his social relationships within his community. Mark constantly goes the extra mile to find out what the people he supports would like to do frequently calling the office to bounce ideas off staff to see if we can work together as a team to provide more choices for the people we support. Mark credits Christine, his wife, and greatest supporter in recruiting him for this position he has held for two years. She is also with the Community Support Services Department, along with two of their three daughters, Chelsea and Chloe. Megan lives in Virginia. Mark was born and raised in Scranton, and graduated from Scranton Technical High School. He has been a franchisee for Tasty Cake for 31 years, which is his full-time job. He enjoys the outdoors, especially fishing and hunting. He shares this love of the outdoors with clients, taking them on nature walks or fishing. Seeing the look on their face when they see wildlife is priceless, says Mark. We'd like to thank Mark, our Community Support Services Department, Direct Support Professional of the Year. Hello, my name is Marie Woody. I'm the Director of Programs at the Intermediate Care Facility of St. Joseph Center, and I'm here to present the Direct Support Professional of the Year to Teresa Egan. When they hear my voice, they light up, says Teresa. That really touches my heart. Teresa's energy and positive attitude is infectious. You can hear it in her voice and see it in her work always optimistic and searching for new places, events, and people to introduce to those she works with, while working hard to plan and pre prepare for any challenges and overcome any hurdles before they happen. Because Teresa has worked at St. Joe's now for over 18 years, she knows the individuals she cares for so well, always introducing them as her friend. She is able to offer them choices while considering likes, dislikes, and preferences and make certain they are included in decisions, activities, and conversation. When an individual with challenges is in the community and treated with dignity and respect by a caregiver, it's an example for the community to follow, and this type of education contributes to the acceptance that all people, regardless of ability, can impact society. Teresa's extraordinary care sets a beautiful example in the community. No matter the outing, a baseball game, rides in the van to see fall foliage or Christmas lights, driving movies or seeing a favorite local band, Teresa is grateful to share in these moments with her friends and be a part of the simple things in life. Teresa helps the ladies she works with to develop new skills daily and meticulously follows their program plans while modeling healthy relationships and a positive attitude. She promotes opportunities to exercise choice by always offering options for activities, food, positions, spending time with others, television, music, or books. Treating each person with respect, she accepts them without judgment and helps them become as independent as possible. 
Born and raised in Scranton, Teresa was educated at the Dunmore High School and Penn State University. Her parents live in Florida, and her brother, sister-in-law, niece, and nephew live in Texas, all of whom she hopes to visit with very soon. Teresa encourages participation in weekly mass. She models a life of care, compassion, and unselfishness when it comes to the spiritual health, health of the individuals she supports. A colleague adds, Teresa is positive and energetic and she shares those emotions with those around her. She is the best cheerleader for the individual abilities, not seeing what a person can't do, but focusing on ways to use the individual's skills. We all congratulate Teresa on this Direct Support Professional of the Year Award. Thank you. Well, I'm sure now you have a greater understanding of why we've singled out Lisa, Dave, Mark, and Teresa. Uh, they represent the best of the best. St. Joseph Center is so grateful and fortunate to employ so many wonderful direct care providers who every day show their care, concern, compassion, and commitment for the people that we support through residential and community programs. This really is the heart of the ministry of St. Joseph Center. And we're so pleased to be able to recognize the contribution of these individuals. I'm so grateful for each of them, for their dedication, for the many ways that they have learned to share their gifts and talents in order to help others reach for their greatest potential. So congratulations again to Lisa, Dave, Mark, and Teresa, and to everyone who supports them, their families, their supervisors, their coworkers, and most importantly, this, this award is important to the people who reside in our uh, beautiful homes and to also utilize our services. So on behalf of those individuals, our residents and clients, I'm so happy to say thank you and congratulations. <music>